Hello and welcome to Vita number 11. Today I'm drinking the Moxie Energy drink. It's quite good as it tastes nothing like Moxie. Sorry about the delayed upload of yesterday's Vita. I know I'm the worst. I deserve all bad things. Speaking of older Vitas, there's a convenient playlist right there if you want to go and take a look at them. What the f***, dude? What was that for? Tag? No, that was a punch. That was a punch to my face. You don't understand how tag works, do you? I got tagged by Gunnarola in one of these old school YouTube question videos. Not pretending to tell him on. Question one. What were the best and worst years of school for you? The best year of school for me was easily senior year of high school. That was when I had the fewest classes. I applied early to college and got in, so I didn't have to worry about that. The whole finding and keeping friends was already taken care of. And I was voted prom king, so Gunnarola, genuflect, show some respect, get down on one knee. Or two. Ooh. And the worst year for me was probably freshman year of college. Don't get me wrong, it was still pretty cool. I just had a lot of those intro college bullshit classes, environmental ethics where the teacher was probably high the whole time. Paying a shitload of money for writing classes, although I don't want to be a writer. Plus, that was the year I met Johnny Paula and through him, Riley McElwain. I'm kidding, I love them. No, I don't. Number two! What's a haircut you wish you could pull off? A toupee. Because <laughs> you can pull it off. Guys, I'm handing you gold and you're just not taking it. Okay, one haircut I wish I could pull off is probably like a rat tail, like just this, but with a rat tail. And you might be thinking, ew, that's gross. And that's exactly why it would be awesome to be the guy who could pull it off. Think about it, people see it and go, ew, a rat tail. And then they go, oh, actually he pulls it off. Wow, he's the one person who has ever been able to pull that off. Damn right I do. Number three. If you could live as a character in a movie, who would it be? Okay, you're gonna have to hear me out on this one, but I would live as Andy Dufresne from The Shawshank Redemption. Although after all of the butt rape crawling through a pipe filled with shit stuff. Think about it. He's got money. He's on a beautiful beach in Zeuantaneo. His friend came all the way out to visit him. I mean, he's obviously surrounded by beautiful women. And he's got one of the most badass stories of all time. If you don't know what that story is, you really need to watch that movie. Favorite YouTuber? This one's really difficult because there's a lot of YouTubers that I love. But I got a runner-up and a first place prize. Okay, the runner-up is John Green. Love him, respect him, every video he puts out is gold. But still, he pales in comparison to my all-time favorite YouTuber. Hey, it's Fred! <laughs> yeah, we're actually gonna go with the other guy. Question number five. Make up a word. What does it mean? Can we just go with Habisky there? Habisky obviously means <laughs> Question number six. Amusement park or lay in bed? Well, amusement parks usually make me I'm through to the bathroom so I can throw up this drunk juice disease because of So I'm gonna go ahead and lay in bed. Although right now I still don't really have a bed, so we're gonna have to use your bed. Ladies. Question number seven. Oh, I'm sorry, is that offensive to some of you British viewers? I don't really care. What's the weirdest question you've been asked by a parent? Hey, what you doing in there? Not fishing. Question number eight. Favorite vegetable? Not corn. I don't know, is bacon a vegetable? Question number nine. Or question number five. No, question number nine. Question number nine. Current crush? No, I don't know. Stop. You know, some girl. Stop. No, it's none of your business. And that is it for the YouTube questionnaire. Now I have to tag some people. Let's go with Jim Valen. The gears keep turning. Brendan. McPherson. That Dolly girl. And obviously Ben Hughes. Obviously. Kali Ma. When did your heart go missing? When did your heart go missing? Okay, well that's, that's it for this episode. Goodbye.